Tim. Yes. What's your topic? So my topic this week is, have you guys ever been caught having sex? Or mm. have you caught anyone having mm. sex? Oh, yeah. That's a good question. I can go first since I'm the guest. Well, let's go and first. I'm drunk. Yeah, wasted. No, I'm not. But this is like a perfect... This is a perfect mess. Um, so, both... Definitely both. <laughs> so, both. Yeah, it's both of those. Uh, I walked in with my parents when I was a kid. Uh, yeah. I, I can't decide now if I remember it or if I remember the idea of remembering mm, it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I was pretty little. Yeah. I feel like I can see it in my head. And my parents both were like, yeah, that happened. Did they stop? Were they just like deer uh, yeah, in headlights? I think, they were, I think my dad was like, mom and I having a conversation. You know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, whatever. I, my family was, ne- my family's like, like they're kind of hippies. So th- there was never anything weird, but they were definitely like, you know, the human body's natural. Like, don't freak out. I think I saw my parents naked kind of around the house until yeah. I was maybe yeah, like yeah, six yeah, or yeah. seven. And then they thought it was like starting to be inappropriate. Yeah. But they were always like, you know, the human body's a natural thing. Like, you know, don't stare too long but like you no know, like <laughs> yeah yeah so i think i was just like ah, whoops um i don't think it traumatized me uh, much and then um uh my dad definitely walked in about me and my high school boyfriend having sex oh, he, and he makes jokes about it to this day <laughs> he goes he goes man because i had a, my I, my bedroom didn't have a door which i think was totally his engineering but my dad was never home because he worked so much so you know we like full around the afternoon um and he just walked in and he, and he goes man i called I caught you on the downstroke. That's what I have to say. <laughs> um, so yeah. Both. So what did he do? Did he just walk in, walk out? Did he, he make a joke in, about it? I don't think he like you know like freak. I mean, like Grandpa Simpson in the strip club when he just comes in and just does the one eighty and back out. I think he just. Uh, I think he might have like tried to kind of act like he didn't see it and then like went away to like give us time to pull it together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm sure I also probably got like those kind of where you're fooling around in a car and the cops come i'm sure that also happened whoop, in whoop. high school yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> yeah pull together yeah mm. yeah you know i mean uh, you know when you're a baller shit goes down shit goes exactly. down shit goes true. down mm-hmm. yeah greg you're a baller yeah i'm a baller but not this not to this extent like i there was a few like the only like in you know for i wasn't getting late in high school so there was no like you know i was in there playing with my action figures <laughs> superman blue superman red were up to shit but uh <laughs> which like, that would be like having sex with yourself right that would be awesome <laughs> but uh in in college with my college girlfriend there was a few times where she it, like and she was playing it up i think she was super loud like she we'd hear roommates would come home or whatever and oh, be in like the yeah. suite and they were in the other room talking and then she'd get super loud and then we'd have to like address that when we came out yeah and then another time i remember uh in college staying over at her house and her roommate or her dorm room fresh her freshman year and her roommate was supposed to be gone all weekend and came home like in the middle and we were done having sex and she was like taking a shower but i'm just laying in this bed naked yeah. and like yeah, i have are. a blanket on and it's so, like yeah, the other roommate are. came like oh and, and like we talked like we did that like awkward chit chat for like five minutes and i'm like <laughs> so funny story i'm naked right now she's like i thought so i will yeah. go outside also you know she I mean? should have followed her first instinct which was to pull a grandpa simpson i don't know why yeah. she's just Whoop, chatting yeah. with this isn't normal btw T- tagging your story I did have this boyfriend in high school who had his his room was in the basement and he had a bunk bed and the bunk bed was like right near the ceiling and uh yeah so then we had sex and then he went upstairs and then he came back down and was like my dad is super pissed <laughs> <laughs> a vent it was just like seeping up into the entire right, house right 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 I think he had like a little brother who was like oh, 11 what are they yeah, doing yeah. the wrestling don't worry We're about it we having a conversation <laughs> in sounds and pictures <laughs> <laughs> an out loud pictogram conversation right Colin yeah. uh yeah uh both I'm not gonna talk about uh me getting caught cause that's that, that impl- you know that implicates too many people <laughs> um, too many people <laughs> <laughs> it was an orgy <laughs> Uh, but no, me- I, I I call bullshit. I feel like you have to tell the story and just change the names to protect the innocent. You can't just like say it happened. So all right, so in college, um, I hope it's my dad. And he's just like he's like trying to come up with my, a different name. I lived so I lived with this was my sophomore year. I think so I lived with three different people and we had two bedrooms, so we had to share rooms, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I lived with Ramon, who's oh, Ramon, um, my you know one of my best friends from back home, and he was in his room doing whatever the fuck it was he was doing, you know, playing music, or whatever. So my my buddy Kevin and Chris, who I'm still great friends with. Um, they were both gone, and so my girlfriend and I at the time went into their room and had sex on the ground, um, like on a towel. And <laughs> and we did this multiple times because Ramon was like, you know, like over the course of a week or whatever, they would, our class schedules lined up or whatever. It was, right, it was right, great. Right. But then once Kevin came home, um, and uh, like I, we, I was, we were like mid 
act or whatever. And he, like, walk, and, he, and he walked in and like he like the door kind of opened. I was like, ah! you know, like and and he's like, oh, my, like and I kind of like walk, like just like. So kinda, you were in his room. Yeah, I was in his yeah, room. That's... But I'm like, I didn't. And then when I came out, he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I wasn't in your bed. I wasn't in your bed. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like. Uh, so that's like still a funny story with us. Where I wasn't in your bed. I wasn't in your bed. <laughs> that's why I was like, I'm, his apology. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't in your bed. I wasn't <laughs> That's why I was like, because I was like, temper, I, I, temper your amount yeah. of anger here, because it's got to go down a few. Because I remember she was like, why do we have to, you know, do it on the ground, or whatever, and I was like, why are we gonna do it on the know, ground? And I'm like, listen, because, baby, I like a caveman style. Uh, you know, I don't want to disrespect their beds. We'll just do it on the ground, or we're just not, we're not doing it to be in their room. We're doing it to not be in my room. You know what I mean? It's like, and not, why were you not in your room? Because my friend, my my roommate was in there and like wouldn't leave. And this, I think I told this story about like how. You know, like how the only time Ramon and I ever got into a fight was over a literal this. fist fight. Yeah, like a literal fist fight was over you humping on his ground. No, where I was like, I'm like, I need the room. This was even before this happened. And he was like, uh, this like one of my great friends. He loves this story. And he was like, uh, and we're both like, why are you fucking idiots? And he was like, and he was like, uh, I'm like, I need the room. And he's like, I'm in the room, man. And I'm like, I would give the room to you if you ever had a girl over. You know? Oh, and then and, and, he took a swing. Yeah, and then, and then he like, came at me. My other roommates, Kevin and Chris, who were like, you know, bigger dudes. Chris is like pretty jacked up dude. Kevin's like a hockey player, so they're big guys. They just thought it was fucking hilarious that we were like fighting with each other. Just stood there and watched. I think Chris was like eating a sandwich. Can you push him in the fridge? Yeah. So then I punched Ramon in the face. And in our kitchen, and he fell into the fridge, and the fridge shoved over, like, oh my God. and like he fell in between the counter and the fridge, and then oh. everyone just started laughing, and it was basically over. And we were all drunk, I think too. <laughs> that had, that, oh yeah, I was like, there had to be some other, oh, like, yeah, yeah. some accelerant, yeah. in, that, in that equation. Um, and then uh, the story about walking in on someone, and I've walked in on multiple people, but this was the funniest one for me. Was again, we were with. Uh, those same group of kids, but it, we were freshmen. That's when we met. And we walked in on, uh, and I won't use any names, a, a friend of ours having sex with his girlfriend who was visiting or whatever. And all I remember from this, because it was a dark room and there was a bunk bed, like, you know, the safe room or whatever, I guess, in the corner, because it was a, f- a little shitty freshman dorm, was him, like, kind of, like, on top of her, but, like, leaning up. And the door opens and saw the light from the hallway, like, cast it on him. <laughs> and you just see him going, like... Like looking <laughs> over or whatever, and then we just were like, like but, but then you just, but then you just like hurt, no doubt hurt us like cackling in the oh, hall. Yeah, yeah. So. Like I'll never forget that because that we that was a that I was like so it. funny. It was like a bird, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like in college that's where you get most of those stories, right? Of college. like, I remember like my, my friend running into my room one time because we were getting ready to wa- play watch uh, SmackDown. And he came in and he was all like, I just walked by so and so's dorm and I, I heard his girlfriend in there saying, Ew, you got it on my boob. <laughs> <laughs> like all these awkward moments of learning to be with the other sex oh while everyone God. can hear everything Every, that's happening. Oh, man. Just drywall yeah. and open air. Yeah, doors with like that the much gap time. on the bottom of right. them so you yeah. can like hear everything. Yeah, one, place, one place that. Um, that uh, my friends Ramon and Pablo lived in in Boston when we were seniors they didn't have enough bedrooms so they actually just went and bought drywall like and literally <laughs> just put a piece of drywall in between like this shitty little room oh my and that God. was it so like it was just there was like a gap above it and like gaps on the side and they just like made a makeshift room like this is weird when you have people over or whatever and he's like oh the other guys never even really here anyway and I'm like alright well, yeah, or he's whatever. there listening yeah. quietly yeah. like a time. church he's mouse there all that was <laughs> that was the, against the drywall <laughs> that was the year that where there was seven or eight people living together in this one place not related to sex but there was a guy that lived there I think his name was Gavin but we never no one ever saw him like it, the whole thing was like this guy paid rent and like had a bedroom and shit in a bedroom but no one ever met him like that like lived in this place or whatever and I, lo- I loved that story as like this elusive dude that just paid $700 a month to some fucking Boston landlord to, like, like leave his, his shit, bed there and then shit. never saw him again like Couch Guy from Half Baked yes like Couch Guy from Half Baked remember that movie yeah but he it's showed up eventually yeah he was there yeah. he was always and he took messages and stuff yeah he was funny yeah. like Brad Pitt in True Romance I didn't see that one okay but he went to Mizzou so I like Brad Pitt Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's worth seeing. No, it's not. But it's worth <laughs> just watching the part that Brad puts in. It's okay. It's very funny. It's like really early in his career. Okay. Yeah. The one time I got caught was really bad. Oh, no. Because my uh, I was with my girlfriend, not my current girlfriend. I was, my, uh, my, so my, that doesn't in Tim no usually said, drops his girlfriend in, and then the first time he ever did it was out of the blue, so we all made a big deal about it. So then he started going, my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, not, not, not her. Okay, but, so this, um, girl, this girl does not deserve the hand motion. No. Got no it. Hand. Perfect. Um, so, no so, so things were going on and this, this is a little graphic, but Fabulous. things were happening and then we had the house to ourselves and it was just awesome. When you have the house to yourself and you know that 
then all of a sudden you're like, I'm going to go a little crazier. Yeah. So everything's louder. Everything's just more like obnoxious. So that was happening. And we were guaranteed that her mom was not coming home. Her mom did not come home, but we didn't know that her best friend had keys to the house and decided to come chill. Her mom's best friend? Her mom's best friend. Uh. Who comes and hears a noise, not knowing that we were at the house sure. at all. Knocks on the door and like goes to open the bedroom door. And it had one of those like locks that had the little the chain locks? on it. So yeah. that kind of opened. It just busts open. We got so scared. And um, the it was just the worst because she goes to jump to like get oh, no. like well it wasn't that bad okay thank God but I got so shocked that things happened mm-hmm. just instinctively like you had an, uh, a stroke uh, you uh, be bur- you you slipped a disc yes you, you crapped yourself um you well ejac- it's more you, you it was ejac- more of you ejaculated a, yes okay. yes yes that, that <laughs> is <laughs> <a lot>. <laughs> <laughs> we got there in what the end that could have happened yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah, gonna yeah. be one of those th- horror stories of like she's is, shifted and popped it no, 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 and you no. broke your dick thank, thank <laughs> god that didn't happen I know that can happen but no so so this happens and so I'm holding on to her and she like goes to her no 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 because we didn't want to like get it because it was also it was like it happened to be on her mom's bed, which sounds really uh, bad. But uh, like you're the first person who had sex on their parents' but whatever. bed. I was just At least like, put down a towel and fuck her on the floor like a <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> gentleman. So I was like, no. So we couldn't get that. So I like tried to. Just, so then we have to be quiet because this woman's outside. Like, is, is everything okay? Is everything okay? She didn't know what was going She's on. She's so stupid. Right. And I'm How like, oh my god. So we had to like stay together and do that whole awkward shuffle <laughs> thing. And um, then it was we tried owning it and like we got off and like. Things fell out. We cleaned things really quickly. Tried throwing on clothes. I but love it was, you're talking about sex like nobody understands how it worked. But, so, no. Things, things fell, fell out. out. You'll uh, know one day. Things <laughs> fell in. And uh, uh, we, had, we ended up having to just own it. <laughs> <laughs> the Autobots. Back they rolled out. The Avengers disassembled. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we, we had to just own it because... So the girl goes out and is like, oh, hi. I haven't seen you for so long. It was like so awkward. And she didn't know what was going on. And at some point, the like I was like trying to hide near the closet. Like I knew that wasn't gonna work. And the friend, the mom's friend, comes in, and just like looks over at me, and then she goes, "Oh,", oh and I'm like, "Oh god. god!" Like she she oh really didn't god. get it till this moment. But get out. So did she yeah. tell the mom? I don't know. How I could hope she not, not have? How could yeah, she, not she have? probably I did. Hope she did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that, that's. There's that, but were they fucking on the bed? Sp- <laughs> That's the only question the mom asked. <laughs> Tell me they were on, on the, the bed. Floor. Similar to Colin, I was like, was, I wasn't on the He's bed. A he put down the Sylvester the cat towel, <laughs> and they made love. He <laughs> <laughs> with the lady's body, the torso, <laughs> in a bikini. But uh, I have two stories of my friends. My best friend in high school, um, they, he, his girlfriend lived at her, their parents' house, so obviously couldn't do stuff there sure um so they went in their car because that's what high school kids do it really is and they were they weren't having sex but they were doing other things and they were having fun cards but yeah they were playing (laughs) they're playing magic and they they decided to park across the street from a police station smart that's super because that's what high school kids do yeah and i'm like you fucking idiots Mm -hmm. so a cop comes no shit Mm -hmm. and just starts knocking on the window and he's just like are you serious I kind of feel if you're a cop and you see kids fucking in a car, you should leave them alone. But, yeah, like what, who, who are you hurting? Take a moment to see whether it seems as if everybody has agreed to be there. Yeah, and yeah. And if everybody seems like they're having a good time, move the fuck Let away. It be. Poor. I mean, the ki- the kids wouldn't be fucking in the car if they had some place in order to go. That's the thing. They're in the car because this is their only option. Yeah. So leave them alone. Yeah. Leave them alone. So I mean, he, he was They've just exhausted like, every know, legal like, this, route. It's unkind, in my opinion. He left him alone after that. Really? He, yeah. He are you just, serious? Yeah. And then he, he left. He was just like, are, are you serious? And then Oh, the cop said, are you serious? I thought your friend turned around and was like, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious, <laughs> officer? Are you, are you joking me Are you me stopping right me right now, now bro? <laughs> are you joking me? <laughs> no, nah, yeah. but yeah, he's like, are, are you serious? And he's like, just, just, don't, he's like yes. don't do this. Just yeah, don't do I'm this. And then he just walked away. And then they drove around the corner to the, the skate park. And did it they there. went to the fire station. Yeah. Did it there. But that's ridiculous. But my favorite story. In the driveway. We have to go. We have to save lives. <laughs> my favorite story of all of this, and I might have told this on the show before, but one of my best friends, Alfredo, we love I love him to death. Aww. He calls me at like three in the morning and I didn't have a car. I was like 15 at the time. And he just goes, Tim, I need you right now. I'm like, oh, I've never nice. said this like this. And he's like, dude, seriously, I don't know what to do. I need your help. I'm like, What's going you on? The man? Body. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a he's dead like, body bring involved. Shovel, here. lie, and I'm on. Off. He's like, you know that building across the street from my house? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you know how it's in like a really bad area? I'm like, yeah. I'm in my boxers on the roof right now. 
Oh my god! I just got caught having sex with my girlfriend. I had to jump out the window. I climbed the fire escape. I'm now on a roof. I don't know what to do. Oh my god! And I'm just god. like, are you serious? Is he in a boxers with his phone? Boxers though. Yeah. With well, his phone. he got so. This is how this is how Alfredo thinks. He hears parents coming, so he grabs his boxers and his phone. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing the else. essentials. Cover your dick and get your cellular. And he jumps out the window, device. climbs to the fire escape, and then he calls me, and I have to go. I have to get a cab for him and do all this stuff, and the cab has to get him in his boxers. Oh, because he has no money. Yeah. This is so. So he didn't get his wallet, but he got his phone and boxers, and yeah. I think he. But that was one of the aggressive calls well. for yeah, help. Yeah, that's not I that bad. Yeah, I think I, he planned pretty well. I love that this show exposes all of Alfredo's secrets. I know. Yeah. You know, Alfredo doesn't have secrets. He knows. Alfredo it's just, needs you to sign an NDA, man. It's like one of those things where we're fine sacrificing our personal integrity and our stories mm-hmm. and our history, but then it's like the splash damage yeah. of all of our friends. <laughs> well, that's why, I'm, that's why I'm trying not to use too many names. Well, well, I love how like you it. started the story with, oh, this is going to expose too many people. So Chris was about 6'2". <laughs> yeah. His blood type is O negative. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, the high school sex thing, it's just funny to me because I used to have sex with my high school girlfriend in my house, um, but my dad would be like working outside, like on the lawn, on the lawn or something like that. And, like, like he would always be do. like, don't go upstairs, like whatever, do. like, don't go to your room. I'm like, all right. Um, and, uh, but certainly he knew, right? I mean, How like, that's, could he what not I, know? that's what I always think is like, my, pa- like, I used to think I was getting one off on my parents, like, no. you know, over my parents all the time, like, you know, you have no idea I'm drunk right now. You have no idea I'm fucked they up. You have everything. no idea I'm having. Yeah, and it's like you fucking know, right? No. Like, and I almost want to go up to them, like, you do you remember like this instance and this instance and this instance the way I remember it? And they're like, you'd probably be like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. And we just didn't want to. I think there's a selective. There's like selective ignorance, and then there's just like this is what kids do. Like, I feel like our parents were probably the first generation to get high and drunk and have sex at our age, and they just there's nothing. Like, I have nieces and nephews now, and they, I'm like. Like I said to somebody the other day, I was like, I'm sure this kid's having sex. I'm like, no, they're not. I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> you think that this 19-year-old boy is not mm. having sex with mm. his girlfriend. That's, yeah. yeah, that's not, I, I've told that to, like, even, um, you know, some family members that are concerned about, like, you know, their 18, 19, 20-year-old kids having sex or mm-hmm. like that kind of stuff. I'm like, what do you think that... What did you do? Yeah, do you not remember that age? What are you doing? Yeah, like, what, like, what, like, of course, he's, eight, he's like an 18 or 19-year-old boy. That's, like, all he thinks about, you know, like... That's all that's, anybody thinks about. And that's like, you know, you know, at my old age now, I'm just like, I don't really care anymore. Oh, no, you're you a know. million years old. Yeah. It's, it's, amazing. So old. it's amazing you can sit up right. I know. I, well, I, you know. I mean, yeah, I can hear your joints popping <sighs> from so. here. Colin's yeah. new old man thing is that he likes to go around and unplug every appliance that is in current use. I'll come out, I'll Adorable. start fucking with my coffee maker. I'm like, wow, it's unfucking Just plugged. Just buy... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Colin or Vice Reg, buy a strip and pull out all your things and then you can turn them all off mm. with one switch. Mm. I just get a little paranoid about the, you know, I don't want to fire... You That's know, what you're, you're doing. Yeah. It's not about being green. You're no. afraid something's going to spontaneously. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! You're like a thousand years old. Right now, in, in this <laughs> room, we have two power strips cha- Chains daisy together. chained together, <laughs> and in between them was one of those green Christmas light cords. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, I'm, the the camera tripod and lights are blocking the only exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, well, my, 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 it doesn't make any sense too. Because in my room, I have like my TV, my PS3, my PS4, right. my Vita, my cable box, my stereo. What's a all Vita? Hooked up. Isn't that awful? Is it for masturbation? Yeah. No. Okay. For, of the mind. <laughs> when you want, it? It's the PlayStation Vita. The, two, oh. the, the handheld. Uh, That's what most people say. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't. What's the Vita? Don't. <laughs> that was a perfect example of what, of what the problem is with that, by the way. She's, She's an X-Bot. Everybody knows. I hope you're watching. I, I have a PS3, but that I, I bought it to play Blu-ray movies. <laughs> now I play games on it. But someone asked me, they're like, what are you playing your Xbox? I was like, blah, 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 blah. But I'm playing PS3. I was like, movies. I like Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I know I am playing games on it. Have um, you not gotten a PS4 yet? Uh, no, I have a PS4. That's what I have. That's how much I know. That's how intimate I am with my PlayStation right. deck is that I don't. No, no, no. I still have the PS3. I have an Xbox One and a PS4 sitting in their boxes still because I'm trying to play through all my previous generation games. <laughs> and I feel, I don't know. I'm like, I, it's the same thing with books, right? I'm like, oh, yeah. I have to finish a book no matter how much I hate it. It's like, I have to finish these games before I can plug in my one. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and we, I feel like we gave up on some things on them. Well, like we finished Bioshock Infinite, and then there's one other game I want to play on the one. Bef- I mean, on the on the old one before I put the one in. But I like I haven't played Titanfall. I haven't played Ghost because I'm yeah, waiting yeah. to plug, plug in my one. And I haven't plugged in the four because what games are even for PS4? Anyway? What are you talking about? All the indies <laughs> uh, you know. and DC Universe Online. Let it less less. You know, Mac? I only play shooters. So <laughs> that's it. I only play shooters. Killzone. That's a good shooter. On- okay. Yeah, you might. All like right. That. 
Fine. I'm fine. Good. Whatever. I Whatever. I, 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 don't, I don't rep a box. I rep a lifestyle. Oh, okay. I happen to play more games for the for the Xbox than I do for PlayStation, but I, I do love The Last of Us, and I, that's what I've been playing like for the last couple of months, because I get two hours to game every week, which is right. so sad, so I'm like squeaking through campaign on that game <laughs> at the slowest pace possible. But, yeah, that, yeah, all the travel lately, it's convention season. It's just yeah, killed the just, ability to no play time. anything on console. It's, no, it's all Vita or DS, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I, I, it's funny, I just, I'll play on my iPad, but somehow I just feel like I'm such a console gamer that I don't want to play a version of a game that yeah, I play right. console, like, handheld. As I play for iPad, it's a game designed for the iPad, exactly. and I'm playing it in that context. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, I can't I can't do the touch games for the most part. I, just, I need a controller, I need that tactile. I want like, did, you, did anybody sticks. play Monument Valley? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That was like a super short, fast, like math-based game, like a puzzle game. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Like people really like that game. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's fast. It's like a fast game. And the only thing I was frustrated by is that it went really quickly, but it was incredibly elaborate. I could see the like developers probably spent like three years like just figuring out mm. how like the algorithm behind like the Mobius strip because all the the puzzles are like super complex. Um, but yes, yeah, so I don't know. Like when I travel, I'm like, this isn't. What this is not. This is not the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to play some like miniature version of a better game. Yep. Yeah. I hear yeah. that. There we go. 